Hey, what's up guys, Adit here from How's That App. And today I'm going to be talking about screen recorders, which I think are the best for Android in 2020. So let's go ahead and take a look at the screen recorders I have for you. So the very first one on the list is ADV screen recorder. And I've personally used it the most, and I believe this is one of the best screen recorders you can get. So why do I feel that ADV screen recorder is one of the best out there? Well, it's because it's pretty simple. It doesn't have many random options to be toggling with and it is straight to the point. So let me just go on to the settings and uh, show you the different settings that you can toggle with this. So you can see the video rate and frame rate here. You can uh, do stuff for that. And you can also put up your logo and some random text on the screen. And you can also use the camera overlay. So you can show your face if you're maybe gaming or something. So you can use this for that too. So another feature that I really like about this app is uh, you can draw on the screen. So I can just go here and start drawing. So if you want to explain something, if you're explaining something, you can do that. And you have a whole range of colors to draw with. So this can be pretty handy at times too. So the next one on the list is AZ Screen Recorder. Now at the end of the day, all of these apps which I'm showing you can record your screen and will get your job done. But they differ by some features that some other app has and this one doesn't. So yeah, you can use a combination of these apps to get the best results. Like this one right here, it has the same features like A, ADZ Screen Recorder has. But it also has another new feature which is live. So you can go live straight from this app to this app's community if you wish to. So let's try the live option. So you can choose the platform where you want to go live. So straight like from this uh, recorder right here, you can go live. So this is another pretty useful feature that I think many people will be able to use. And it also has all the previous settings like uh, ADZ has. So let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. It has some extra settings like time lapse. Oh, let's see. So it has time lapse and okay it has green screen and stuff it has extra features so if you want to uh, tweak around with these like if you want to tweak these features on or off so you can use this too but adz is a simpler tool this is a little more advanced so the final recorder on the list is du screen recorder again it can record your screen it can do all the basic stuff it is somewhat like the previous one it has a little bit more features than adz and uh, the extra feature that this has uh, compared to the previous ones is shake phone to stop recording. So if you're recording, you can just simply shake your phone to stop recording. And yeah, that's the uh, new feature this thing has. And uh, But the downside to this is it has a lot of ads. So this uh, screen recorder in particular, when compared to both of the previous ones, has a really huge amount of ads. So let's try the shake to stop feature. Uh, let's go ahead and record. So yeah, it gives you the countdown again. Everything has the same option. So let's go ahead and give this feature a shot. Let's try shaking the phone and let's check whether it works. So yeah, there you go, it works and it straight away shows you an ad. So yeah, DU has a lot of ads and the rest of the features are pretty much the same from all the previous screen recorders. So yeah guys, this has been it. These are my top screen recorders, which I feel are the best for Android. So if this video helped you, please do give it a like and share it with your friends and family to let them know about these cool screen recorders too. This has been it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.